the more I learn about this business, the more I realize I'm losing my sanity. I'm going day and night on this screenplay like a madman. I'm turning into the characters I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> Yesterday I met another filmmaker about blood and sacrifice. And, well... You know, I viewed your, uh, your stuff. I like what I see. It's nice to finally meet you. Thank you, Mr. Hopkins. And may I say, I loved the script. I loved the script! Thank you. It means a lot. The depth of Dan Garcia. What a guy. What a guy! Yeah, he's got a lot on his plate. He sure does, brother. Oh, excuse me. Each kind of bother gonna court. Each cat says he. Each family dinner. I'm busy right now. I have a busy life over here. I can't be dealing with uh, family dinner. To get around it, Pombo check out Sinago or Sazanagos. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, I'm very busy. I'm on set right now. Okay? Yes, I'll give you a call back. Okay. Bye now. It's back to the drawing board now. Stu's helping me out today. We've decided to direct the film ourselves. All the directors I interviewed just weren't right. I like Drew, I mean Todd's personality the best. So we'll use him in the project since he can whip up videos on a low budget. We've also decided to use Mac as our Dan Garcia. After looking through all the footage, I thought he was our best choice. Today we're meeting to discuss the film and how we're going to approach it. It's very exciting. We wish Paul was here, but he's over at Liso Cherry. Hey Paul, you ever feel like you're not good enough? Why, are you feeling bad? No, I was just wondering, having problems at home. My uh, old lady keeps giving me shit. Cheer up, Sylvan. Think of all the great things you've done. You know what, tell her to stick in her pipe and smoke it. How long have you been standing there? Where's Rick? He's in his office. Let me get him. I know, and it was so nice of you. And I said to her that that's Rick, what... Rick, yep. we got a guy here. Oh. Okay, uh, hey, I have to go. Um, no, I know. No, I have to go because I have a client. No, I don't want to go. Okay. No, you are. No, I said you are. I'm not going to say that here. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, no, not you. No, I was talking. Okay. Hi, sir. How are you? Sorry for the wait. Um, how can I help you today? Well, I had a design for my record label, okay. but I seem to have come to the wrong place. No, no, no. You're in the right place. We do graphics here, and we sell caskets. We're a casket store and an animation studio all in one. Uh, well, okay. Um, who can help me? Paul will do it. He needs a new client anyways. Yeah. Yeah, Paul, I think you have what it takes. Let's okay. go. So, Paul, this is Mr. Uh... Gugus, Ronald Gugus of Gugus Records. Cool. This is Mr. Dontario, and he's going to bring all of your animation ideas to life. Cool. Good luck, guys. <laughs> he's so dead. <laughs> yeah, he's toast. So how do you expect to pull off the big shootout with Amoretti and his men? I mean, getting the actors is no problem, but this location you wrote with all the guns and the explosives? Not so much, man. Eh, we'll find a way. I mean, have you heard of networking? Dude, I thought you cared about this project. I do. It's just I'm thinking practical, man. I don't want to have to change the script because of a location concern. Hell no, we're not doing that. I agree. So, as you said, we'll find a way. That's right. Is that Mac? He's early though. I think he is. Hey Matt, so even though we were not picked for the film, 
Me and Gilbert want to help out. We love the business. Tell him, Gilbert. Just come inside, guys. Hey, Stuart. Orville. Hi. I am Cliff Berg. I am best friends with Orville, and he is my man. Um, hi. Okay, guys. You want to help us out? We're going to need to find some tricky locations for this script. Like magic tricks? Oh, shit. You're doing a magic movie now? I love magic! No, it's not about magic. It's, like, gonna be hard to find locations, like, tricky... N never mind. Do you guys know of a factory by any chance that we could use to film? I used to work at a factory. It's a big place. It would be perfect for what you're looking for. Really, dude? Congrats! Did you drive a forklift by any chance? Oh, yeah. Nice! Do you still have access to the factory? No. <laughs> it burned down five years ago. I plead the fifth, so yeah. <laughs> what did I expect bringing these guys inside? <laughs> I can see Stu's just as enthused. Hey, Stu, you all right? Seems stressed. Yeah, you should meditate with Orville. His techniques work wonders. Yeah, I do yoga as well. I can hear yourself, brother. Stu, don't leave me here with these two. I feel like I'm babysitting these guys. <laughs> Where do you get these toys? <laughs> this house is turning into a daycare center. Where's that actor at? Hey, what's up, Sharon? Hey, so you didn't hear this. But I know of a special flavor of cookies called banana dance. Really bomb. You want a bunch? Sure. Why not? You know what? Two boxes, though. I'm trying to get that stuff up. <laughs> you got it. So, what's this I hear about you not getting that Frankie roll? Sharon, they wanted me speaking in French. I can't do that. I'm not prepared for something like that. Sounds like you're not prepared for anything. I've got an actress like Shelly who's on my side who loves the gigs I get her. She's kicking ass on her roles. Well, that's good for Shelly. I just have principles. If I can't fake it, I can't do it. I care too much about my performance. Well, mister. You think about what you've done. Call me over the weekend and we'll discuss your next gig. Sounds good, Sharon. Bye, Stuart. Um, hi, Mr. Boogus? Googus. Googus. Uh, what kind of a design did you want? Well, can I demonstrate? Sure. Got it? What? That's the logo. Can I take a picture? Okay. You got a camera? No, but I got my phone. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Man, I swear. If I get one more notice in the mail, I'm going to walk in there and I'm literally going to piss all over the front desk. Man, just do what I do. Just throw them out. There he is. About time. Yeah, took him so long. I'm so sorry I'm late. Crazy traffic in the 405. Oh yeah, that one sucks this time of day. Should have taken the 605. No, you're crazy. The 10 West at this time of day is open lanes. That's the, uh, the feller. I uh, know. Hi. 
How you doing? Yeah. How's it going? You're, uh... You got lucky. Real lucky. Anyway, I really like the script, and I'm really excited to be a part of this, but I do have one question, though. Uh, shoot, what do you got? This Amarity character, is he making fun of a certain group in our culture? <laughs> is he? <laughs> no, no. I, it was just a random name I came up for the bad guy in my story. Excuse me. Hey, what's up? I brought Claire and all this stuff. You want to film something today or what? Yep. I asked for this. Marcus is here. Okay, Rick. You know why I'm here. What happened to our customers down in Hawaii? Look, Marcus, caskets aren't so hot right now. And uh, maybe they just didn't want to travel or pay to have it shipped. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. What are you fellas doing here anyways? Working. Okay. Okay, so we'll try the cartoon design at first and then we'll see what happens. Cool, man, yeah. Um, hey, you ever drop acid? What? What's going on here, fellas? Hey, Marcus. How's the wife and kids? Mind your own business, bitch. Sir, nice to uh, nice to see you again. Sit back down. And who are you and why haven't we met? I'm Paul Ontario, your new graphic artist. <laughs> You're not mine. Wait a minute, sort of. <laughs> this business is a trip, right? Am I free to go? Yes, sir, you're free to go. I'll email you the dress by the end of the week. Okay. What's an email? Okay, guys, thank you for coming. I called this meeting so we can all get on the same page of Blood and Sacrifice. Now, this is my co-producer over here, Stu, and uh, we will both be directing this project. Hold up, bro. We're missing someone very important. What are you talking about? I used my expertise, I did a little research on Google, and what does he do, Claire? Um, he makes business decisions, and he's got awesome PowerPoints. Oh yeah, he makes these like dope-ass PowerPoints, man. I've seen them, there's shit flying everywhere, okay? I think he's outside right now, actually. I'm gonna call him, tell him to come inside. What are you talking about? Didn't you hear? He makes business decisions! Go outside. Hey, what's up, bro? Yo, come inside, man. Yeah, no, it's cool, bro. It's cool. Yeah, just come inside. We're having a meeting right now. All right, I'll see you in a sec. Who's this? His name's Roger Hauser. You never, you never heard of him before? Hey, I'm Roger. Thank you for having me. Hey. So, I'll get right down to it. Blood and sacrifice. Big blockbuster or really crafty low budget short film. Now, imagine a combination of both of those qualities, then you make it yourself, then you become the blockbuster. How do they always find me? Yeah, Dad, it's just really intense. It's a lot of pressure. Well, Paul, isn't that why you moved out there? Yeah, it's just, I didn't expect this. The people here are really intimidating. Don't sweat it. You're a Don Terrio. And besides, you've got great friends like Matt Stewart supporting you. You're right, Dad. Oh, uh, Dad, I'm gonna call you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. What's going on? You good? Yeah, it's, you know, just a little overwhelming. My first big client, you know? Hey, man, listen up. The way this town works, Dreams are made, dreams are broken. What you gotta do is persevere. And ask yourself this, are your dreams broken? Well, no. Then shut your bitch ass up, put a fucking smile on your face, and get in there and kick ass like you never did before. Thanks, Marcus. You know you should come around more often. Oh, hell no. I hate Hollywood. Full of freaks and transplants. No offense. None taken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out of here.
Okay, guys, now that you've heard Matt's side of the story, now you can hear mine. We're gonna kick ass, guys. Blood and Sacrifice is a captivating mystery story where our hero has to choose between family and justice. But we're gonna do this as a group, and we're gonna function as a team. Like the Justice League? Or the Avengers? Yeah. Anyways, Matt put his heart and soul into this script. So let's do him justice and show him that family matters. Screw you, Matt. Stew, you son of a bitch. Hey, what's the matter, Paul? Today was a crazy day at work, I can't. Guys, I think Paul needs a hug. What? Hey, Paul. You know what you need? What? Some meditation. Oh, yeah! Good idea! <laughs> okay, let's meditate. <laughs> let's do this shit. Meditate. <laughs> Think you can fool me, Mr. Hopkins? I'm down. <laughs> Not today. Soon, my time will come, and so will yours. Wow. What an enlightening experience. Who knew I could pull together such an awesome crew? Where did all these characters come from? That's the beauty of it. We all share the same passion. Blood and sacrifice will happen, thanks to our combined efforts. We all have a job to do now. We promise to bring blood and sacrifice to the screen.